Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Okay, so having drawn Popeye last week in a turnaround, I didn't feel it was right to move on without drawing Popeye's longtime nemesis, the evil Bluto. Bluto, like Popeye, was a character Fleischer Studios took from Elsie Seeger's popular Thimble Theater comic strip. But unlike Popeye, who was a reoccurring star of that strip, Bluto only appeared briefly in one storyline of the strip. That was it. But in the Fleischer Studio Popeye shorts, Bluto was a regular, always around to try to steal Popeye's girl, Olive Oil. Bluto always failed, of course, thanks to Popeye's spinach. Like Popeye, we'll be drawing the hulking Bluto in a turnaround, a series of drawings of the character in different angles to get a good overall feel of that character, okay? But before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. All right then, let's draw from Fleischer Studios our Bluto turnaround. <laughs> We're going to draw Bluto step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this drawing, Bluto is exactly seven heads tall. In other words, however tall his tiny head is, his entire hulking body is seven of those tall. Okay, so let's draw in that roadmap for our Bluto turnaround. So there's our roadmap for our turnaround of Popeye's nemesis, Bluto. Now before I go on to step two, I want to give you the layout of Bluto's simple shapes for those of you who want a screen grab. Again, just something to help you envision how to lay out your drawing. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Bluto's squinty eyes, nose, and mouth, among other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out the features for our Bluto turnaround.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for our turnaround of Bluto. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of our turnaround exercise with Bluto. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. As I often say, I want you to be present. And what I mean by that is you don't want to just mindlessly retrace over those lines you've already drawn. As you're drawing that final line, you want to be thinking about it and how you might improve it, staying vigilant until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details of our turnaround around a Popeye's constant foe, Bluto. And that's how you do it. There you have it, our turnaround exercise using Popeye the Sailor Man's arch nemesis, Bluto. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn any pose of Bluto before, then you can't expect to have drawn them perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring in Bluto during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Popeye the Sailor Man's nemesis Bluto. And with that, you can draw him again and again. By all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your turnaround drawing of Bluto. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag LevelUpCartooning. So I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.